Hi, welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Guys, this is just a quick update. Some of the changes that have been happening to me. Going into 2024, there's things changing with my craft. And I wrote a little article to explain it to you. Um, as I grow more and more in my craft, the more things I learn, and the more that I've been changing, and I see this as a good thing, not a bad thing. So I'm going to read this to you, okay? The title and the name of this quick video is The Evolution of My Craft From a White Witch to a Grey Witch Today I want to share with you my journey in my craft, how in my craft has evolved over the last year and a half. This profound journey has been transformative, leading me to a place of healing, self-discovery, and empowerment. When I first began my journey, I was struggling with depression, self-doubt, and a lack of self-love. My craft has been gu my guiding light, helping me to remove the heavy burden of depression from my life and teaching me to love and accept myself unconditionally. It has brought me much needed peace and has shown me how to return love for hate, even in the face of adversity. It has helped bring several good friends into my life when I was feeling lonely and rejected. However, as I continue to grow in my craft, I have found myself moving away from identifying as a white witch and embracing the path of a gray witch. This shift has been a natural progression as I delve deeper into the complexities of magic and spirituality. Along the way, I have learned some tough lessons. I have realized that in my quest to return love for hate, I have allowed others to walk all over me, neglecting my own well-being. I have come to understand that standing up against injustices is not only acceptable, but necessary for my own self-love and growth. As my practice continues to evolve, I have come to acknowledge the importance of defending against injustices through various means, including return to sender spells, binding spells, banishing spells, and even other baneful magic that I have never considered before if it becomes necessary. This realization has been a crucial part of my growth as a practitioner, and has shown me that change and evolution are essential components of embracing my craft fully. While my practice has shifted, my love for others remains steadfast. My journey has taught me that in order to grow in my craft, I must prioritize my own well-being and self-love, while still extending love and compassion to others. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey of self-discovery and transformation. I am excited to continue sharing my experiences and growth with you all. Blessed be. Yeah, guys, um, I wanted to make this announcement because uh, I, I right now I have, I've still got like 367 subscribers. My channel is growing. And some viewers uh, have a hard time accepting change. They get locked into certain things with the channels they watch. And uh, even though I'm still all about love, guys, there has been some things happening in my life that's been testing me lately. And even though I revolve around love, I'm going to be incorporating more defensive magic um, into my life because I've been finding that things around me have been affecting me in a negative way and trying to rob me of my love for people and for myself. And guys, I cannot allow that to happen. So I'm going to be I'm shifting a little bit from more of a white path to a gray path, which incorporates both elements of light and darkness. And by darkness, I don't mean evil. I simply mean that uh, areas I have to deal with in my life like when it comes to like defending myself, even if things seem a little, uh, what's the word, harsh in some ways, I'm finding it becoming necessary. At the same time, I'm guarding my peace in my life and my love for others. I'm not going to allow that to change. But guys, I just wanted to make you aware that some of the changes you're going to start seeing into my channel with some of the spells I do and everything. Um, and I hope you continue to join me on my journey. From the very beginning, I said, I'm uh, join me. I'm right on my YouTube channel. It talks about my journey and how I'm growing. And I've actually consulted some of my fellow practitioners about this. And they even told me that it's actually normal in a lot of ways for people to start out on the white path and move towards the gray path. So at this time, guys, I identify as an eclectic gray witch. And I'm not going to, um, I return love for hate, and I'm going to continue to do that. 
But guys, I have allowed people to walk all over me, use me, and for my own well-being, well-being for my family, my friends, and people around me, I can no longer do that. And I'm going to do what it is necessary at times to defend myself and just to do things that are just and things for justice, guys. So, well, I just wanted to give you that quick update going into 2024, some of the things that I'm doing to change and how I've changed my growth as a practitioner. All right, guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being a subscriber to my channel and continuing to stick by me through everything. All right, guys, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell notification icon to be updated on my latest video. Thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Blessed be.